Well, it seems lately New Bedford can't catch a break with news of a casino withdrawing and dreams of Olympic sailing in the whaling city dashed. But as Eyewitness News anchor Shannon Hagee tells us, a more than century old tradition is raising the city's spirits and also profits. Shannon joins us live from the southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom in New Bedford with more. Stephen Kelly, during a press conference last week, a member of the city's Chamber of Commerce said, quote, there's more to New Bedford than a casino. And you could argue this feast is proof of that, bringing in thousands of people from all over the world. That dark cloud that seems to have settled over New Bedford lately. <laughs> Replaced by sunshine and excitement as the Feast of the Blessed Sacrament gets underway. Now in its 101st year, over 100,000 people are expected to attend the feast over its four-day run. A much-needed economic boost for the city. We've actually been getting phone calls, people from other states trying to get hotels. It's just that growing effect. Everybody enjoys coming to the feast. So certainly it means a lot of money coming into the city, and we always, uh, we always appreciate that. Kicking off its second century in New Bedford, this year's feast will include, as always, tons of entertainment. You can listen to live music on three different stages, and then there's the food, lots of it, and some new culinary creations this year. One stand is uh, codfish and uh, tuna, and what we call mille frites. It's kind of a, a funny french fry. It's a cornmeal, and it's got garlic in it, and chopped up kale, and then they fry it up. It's delicious. Something that hasn't changed, the price. As always, the Feast of the Blessed Sacrament is free. But some could argue its impact on New Bedford each and every year, that is priceless. Now, while admission is free, organizers do make money through the purchase of food and drinks. However, each year they are intent on paying that money forward through scholarships. And this year, they're kicking those scholarships up a notch. We'll tell you more about that in a live interview coming up on Eyewitness News at 530. In New Bedford with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, I'm Shannon Heggie, Eyewitness News. Looking forward to it, Shannon. Thank you. And Eyewitness News is a proud sponsor of this year's feast. For the feast hours, entertainment, schedule, and more, just head to our website, WPRI.com.